Hello YouTubers, uh, Tross here, and it's a whole new day and a whole new version of the game. I'm here in uh, Minecraft version 1.8, and uh, I'm going to show off uh, a few machines here that will uh, make your life a little easier as you start playing. So let's uh, take a look here. I have three automatic farms. These are fully automatic. You just have to sit near them, and you will get food automatically. Uh, this works using the new villager farmer AI that uh, automatically plants and harvests crops. You can see I have one farm of wheat here, one farm of carrots. You can see uh, it's harvesting the carrots and planting more. And then a, a farm full of potatoes. And... Uh, Basically, I've set up or built these special houses here uh, that trick the uh, farmers into giving me the food. What happens is the farmers come in and they see these other villagers here and they attempt to toss these villagers food. But because of the block, or the half slab that's right here, uh, nope, there you can actually see him toss. Uh, he can't get too close, so he has to toss it from back here, and the hoppers catch. The food and route them into these chests here. Same thing over here, and uh, same thing over here. Uh, so if you look here, I have over a stack of carrots here, and uh, well, <laughs> it looks like the farmers sometimes toss each other food across the fences. Uh, here's the potatoes. You can see I got a, a bunch of potatoes, a few carrots here. The one minor problem is with the wheat farm, you don't get wheat. The farmer turns it into bread, so you wind up with bread. And if you want to try to use the wheat to uh, you know, have a, a cow farm and you want to uh, breed the cows, well, this isn't going to do it for you. Uh, but it will get you bread so you can, won't go hungry. Um, I mean, these are really easy to set up. It's basically as big a farm area as you want. I have a little water going down the middle to keep all this irrigated. You then uh, just need to plant a few of them in shelf. You don't need to plant all of it. Uh, the farmer will harvest and plant as he gets seeds. The trick is uh, you need one villager. I have him on a half slab. Uh, you can see better over here. This one happened to get two villagers in there. Uh, I just left them. Um, and then a block and a half up is where you have your hopper. Now, I have four hoppers here. Uh, you can just have one and put the chest right against it. I just uh, made it come out so it's easier to see what's going on. Uh, I have glowstone. You can just put a torch on the back wall for light. Uh, got a door here. It's all fenced in. You don't need to use a fence. You can use a wall. You know, whatever you want to build. <laughs> I just have one block where the uh, farmer can stand. You can give him a little more room if you want, but you know, it's not necessary. So he's harvesting and planting. But yeah, for the wheat, he gathers three wheat and then turns that into a bread. Uh, so the bread's a little slower than the carrots or the potatoes, because uh, it takes three wheat per. But what if you want actual wheat? Well, um, I built this. <laughs> um, the basics are the same. Um, I got a farmer here. There's some places for him to plant. Uh, but this obviously is going to require a whole lot more resources. You need a lot of iron for all these hoppers. Uh, a skeleton farm would really, really help. Um, because uh, basically you need a whole bunch of bone meal. And you put the bone meal in this minecart with a chest. That should be enough for now. And by turning it on, it uh, distributes the bone meal across all these dispensers here. And 
sure why it's not making a sound. It was making a sound earlier. You see now we're up to 60. And it basically just goes back and forth across all these hoppers that are on top of the dispensers and fills up the dispensers. Uh, what we're waiting for now is for the farmer to open the door and step on that pressure plate. And when he does, he triggers a system that first uh, pushes up that block, basically locking him in the house. And then it fires all these... Oops, let's see if it will happen. There it goes. It fires all the dispensers three times. And then... Uh, that causes bone meal to grow all the plants. Uh, then it triggers these dispensers up the top here that let water out that break the plants and push the plants, the, the wheat and the seeds, into these uh, hoppers here. And those hoppers come back here. I have a sorter. And this pulls out the seeds and sends them into this item elevator. These are a whole bunch of droppers facing up. And that lifts them up and brings them all the way back to the house and drops them down here for the farmer to pick up. Uh, now he should have picked up a bunch and started planting, so... Uh, I'm not sure what he's actually doing at the moment. Let's... Uh, Give him some. That clicking here is just the item elevator finishing. Come on, you're supposed to plant. Look good for the video. Not sure what he's uh, doing, but he should be planting. Well, he's supposed to be planting these. He was earlier. As you saw, there was uh, wheat all over the place. And then uh, when he goes back in, which he should do periodically and at night. Alright, he planted that one. Well, when he goes back in, he'll uh, set off the whole new... Uh, round of uh, growing wheat with the bone meal and then using the water to flush it away and as long as the water isn't on too long it won't uh, break the fields so after the filter here all the seeds are pulled out and only the wheat comes across and hey, we got like a stack and a half a little more than that so uh, that's this machine. <laughs> uh, the mechanisms are a little tricky here, but basically, uh, this is a RS latch. The pressure plate in the house is here. It powers this, which through the block and using this uh, repeater flips the uh, latch and then it turns itself off after a short while but when the latch flips it does uh, well power comes here which pushes up the piston which blocks the door so we can't get out while the water is running or the whole system is running uh, this right here makes the three pulses uh, that come up here and power these um, dispensers with the bone wheel in them and uh, it comes down and goes underneath over here for the other side. It barely makes it uh, the signal strength, but it, it does make it all the way to here. And each one of these actually powers three dispensers uh, the way it works. So that gets your three pulses of bone meal, and that should be enough to grow any plant. Uh, then the signal comes down here. The final pulse. Well, 
a, a pulse comes down here when the third pulse uh, goes out to the bone meal and it quickly turns this off and then back on again and then it, after a delay it'll turn it off and on again one more time and this comes up here and goes across the top and powers all the water all right starting it dark so he should uh, go in the house in a moment I don't know why but he really likes standing in that corner uh, when he does go in the house he should trigger the system again Hey, it's getting dark, guy. Here he goes. There we go. Water. And that pulls all the wheat and the seeds in. See the elevators going because the seeds are being filtered out. And they should be coming over ah. here and being dispensed onto them. So he should have more seeds for the next day. Now, as long as he stays in here, even if he walks over that pressure plate again, uh, he won't trigger the system. He needs to walk over one of those three to reset it. Uh, as I was saying before, uh, when it turns itself off, there's another RS snore latch here that pulls this wood block back, and that's not pushed forward again until... Um, one of those three pressure plates outside are stepped on, which then flips this back and pushes the block back so the inside pressure plate can be red again. Uh, and basically, it's not any for particular reason. I mean, you're not going to waste bone meal. They won't be used if there's no plant there. What it will do is it will prevent the water from being constantly turned on and off if he happens to be uh, walking over the pressure plate multiple times during the night. Uh, so that's uh, basic automatic farm machines. So you can get all your carrots, uh, potatoes, bread, and wheat that you want. Oh, let's see, we, we had one more harvest there, and uh, we're almost two full stacks. So it gets just under half a stack. Um, actually, I think there's 24 spots to grow. Um, I guess I could make it a little bigger, but, um, I basically want him to be able to plant everything, um, without <laughs> everything, or without a single one of them growing fully, and so he would not have, uh, you know, they, so they wouldn't be ready to harvest by the time he finished all the planting, uh, because if he did harvest, well then... Well, we lose a little bit that we could have been capturing. Yeah, so uh, it's my first video in 1.8 fully. And I uh, plan to make a few more videos of uh, new machines and new mechanics that are relatively easy. Uh, maybe next time I'll take a look at slime blocks. I am uh, not far from a swamp over here, so should be able to get some slimes and... Uh, do some neat things with that jump pads and all sorts of neat things. So uh, thanks for watching, and I'll see you next time.